Welcome to the Northern Nets podcast. We're two friends in fiber who knit craft crochet and talk everything in between. My name is Jocelyn and my very hungover co-host is Diana, who's discovering three days of intense dance competition with 20-something year olds is something her poor 30-something year old body is not equipped to handle. <laughs> Okay, most of the most of the crew is in the twenty five plus range. I just, for whatever reason, the last night decided that I needed to keep up with the twenty three year old, and I did. But I'm gonna regret it a lot longer than he will. Um, yeah, yeah, you will. <laughs> How many times have we interacted where you've got to go do a thing, and I've been like, "No, I'm old. I'm going home." <laughs> yeah. I opted to decide to not to pretend that I'm not old. Um, learn and I'm going to feel wisdom. it. No, I'm I'm aware I'm going to feel it for at least three days. Um, trust me, I'm feeling it. I look how I feel. Oh, geez. this is not an alcohol induced uh, no. hangover, by no, the way. No, this is no. just what three days of twelve plus hours a day of dancing does. It wears a person There's out. Very little alcohol involved. It wears a person out. Yeah. Uh, it was a long weekend, so I was at home doing nothing, because that's what happens for long weekends. Uh, so I am enjoying some tea kettle tea, and I'm having a little French roast dark tea in my Nightmare Before Christmas mug today. Why? Because I am now at the stage of my life where sleeping all the night through is a rare privilege, and last night I was not privileged. Boo. At least Ooh. when I don't sleep... I didn't sleep very much this weekend, but it was by choice. Mine is generally not by choice. That's fine. It is what it is. A little bit of tea caffeine to get me through the day and it'll be fine. I'm probably starting to stress in the back of my head because I got I got a big appointment on Thursday. I'm probably stressing that. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do it too. That'll absolutely do it. All right. Uh, are you drinking water? Are you hydrating? I am hydrating and I opted for not caffeine because I literally did not get up till noon. Like I face planted at midnight and did not wake up until noon. Solid. I have some snacking medjool dates Ooh, to keep me company. I, I love a good snacking date. I uh, I made myself some blackstrap molasses in hot water. Oh, that's so good though. It is honestly really great. It's it just it's so weird the first few times. Like coffee. Yeah, it is. It was really weird the first few times. And now I'm like, like, no, that's what I want. That's that's what I want. I want that. That just hits the spot. Just hits the my spot. thing with my th my thing with tea is it's a lot. It doesn't feel the same as coffee. Like coffee it's has a not. different texture to it. Coffee and does, this is yeah. closer to coffee. It's still it not, is. but it's closer. It is. So when but I it's... want a dark brown hot liquid, this is closer. Yeah. But sometimes what you want is the tea. Sometimes you want something that's closer to the coffee, but not the coffee. Sometimes you want the coffee. Yeah. Sometimes so. I get up in the morning and what I want is one of my health cubes, which is a lemon, orange, ginger, turmeric. It's it's that it's the it's the we've all seen it on Instagram reels. Oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I made a bunch and I froze them and I stick one of them in a cup and fill it up with hot water and drink that after my yoga in the morning because sometimes what i want is sunshine lemon yellow in my face but i don't want anything heavier than flavored with hot water i get that yeah yeah <laughs> i'm gonna keep making that all summer long because it's just really nice some mornings it's just really nice oh, so good i also have gotten into making homemade ginger ale a little bit of hit a little bit of miss but i have fun one that i kind of like there's one I want to try, but the syrup is meant for a, for a soda stream machine. Mm. But I've been eyeballing a soda stream machine for a while. I had one. I had one. My parents had one when we lived up north. So like I've already like I've I'm already aware of the home soda machines. Mm -hmm. But I like the little countertop version one because you can make your own syrups. So like you're not you don't have to get the super sugar syrups. So oh, you can essentially make Italian sodas at home oh. and just make bubbly water. That's what I want. I want bubbly water, oh. but I don't want Perrier. I don't want, like, I don't, I want pineapple. I want, <laughs> and I drink okay. the Jacardo's, is it Jacardo's, Jacardo? There's a Mexican soda thing you can, company, you can buy sodas from in the Safeways here. Sure. And I like their pineapple flavored one, like, a lot. Like, if I could make it at home and I'm not wasting as much glass or as much plastic because I'm reusing that, then 
I would really rather go that route. Does that make sense? Like No, it makes total sense. everything I do to be less of an impact on the environment helps my niece have a better life when she's my age. So like, why wouldn't I do that? So that's that's sort of where my brain's at with that. Also, sometimes I want bubbly water at two in the morning because that's I'm awake. I've also been known to make bannock at two in the morning because I'm conscious. And what I really want is bannock. My life is very strange. All right. Right, and that honestly sounds pretty great. Oh, it's so good. Like if you don't have any in the fridge or freezer to heat up to have with butter, ugh. sometimes it just has to be done. Okay. I have, like, I know you went and traveled and had fun, exciting things. Um, I was home. I have three FOs, three finished objects. Uh, I have a tale of woe. I have the project I'm going to work on while we're while we're talking today. And then I have um, theoretical life six. <laughs> I told you four. I lied. I missed two. Technically okay. seven, but I don't want to talk about the seven. So that's not happening. I have three. Oh, no, I have so... seven. Oh, I'm going for a while. Yeah, you're going. This is the you show today. That's fine. That was you last week. <laughs> look, look, I'm working on a strip. I'm a working strip. on a strip. For the blanket. Yes. For yes, the, the yeah, for the cotton granny square blanket. So last summer? Question mark? Spring? I don't remember. When did I start these squares? Okay. At some point in 2023, I started making granny squares out of Karen cake, leftover Karen cake, and some Karen cake one off balls that I had because I had a lot of Karen cake. I love Karen cake balls. I love cotton Karen cake balls. I like acrylic Karen. I love Karen cake. It's a wonderful yarn. I like working in it. But I made a whole bunch of squares, and then I was going to connect the squares with a solid color yarn in the middle, and I went with Lily Sugar and Cream White. And I have been slowly connecting strips and sewing them to my bed. So I made my first block of six, I crocheted together with gray. And then I made it the length I needed it to be from top to bottom. And now I'm... Uh, seaming together and crocheting together long strips to go on the side of the bed so it is now long enough for the bed and i'm currently widening the bedspread one row at a time so it is currently my comforter on my bed because it's big enough for me to sleep under and my cat to sleep on top of and for us to not coexist in the same physical space uh, which i appreciate <laughs> but it is not quite big enough to be a full bed thing so it's driving me bonkers that it's not finished which was the point of putting it on my bed. And I am working on it. I got two and a half rows done, because I'm half a row. Uh, <laughs> and I got two full rows done. So I have a row and a half to go. And then I have seamed all of the squares I have made into the blanket. Then we're going to have to make some choices. So stay tuned on the Instagrams, because there will be some voting opportunities coming soon. I'm about to make some decisions. Mm. and i love crowdsourcing my decisions it also means i've got a boatload of scrap done i have a big project done that feels good it's good to be closing in on the end nice which is good because i'm gonna rip a project and cast something on this week because i can i gotta keep going okay let's save the echoes for a hot second when i'm finally able to put my uh arms down <laughs> at work because <laughs> it's diana's turn finally i'm going to continue to make progress on my fiddly bits cowl i've made a lot of progress since last week when i stop here Ooh. and think about it i was way back down here in color one and a quick recap i am basically using three quarter to half full skeins of 100 gram yarn so anything from 50 grams to like 75 grams that i have floating around uh, I threw them all in my bag. Like I added four more balls uh, this week just to have different colors to pull from. And I am changing colors every time uh, the inch measurement reaches the next number increment for pi. So you have three. So I have three inches in color one and then point 0.1. So I have an inch in color two. <laughs> so 3.1 and this is four. So I'm currently working on getting four inches in my third color. 
it's supposed to be wild. It's supposed to be wacky. It's supposed to be fun and colorful and bright. And I am doing a round of pearl every time I switch a color, A, to help me measure, uh, and B, just because it adds a nice texture detail that I like a lot. So <sighs> the good news is the Fiddly Bits pattern is free. Even better news is it's designed to use scraps and 20 grams minis and stuff. So if you've got a lot of minis floating around, you might you might really enjoy this. I love it. It's just, it picks up and goes so well. So well. Also, hey, look, Diane, I'm using one of the needles you got me for my birthday. Yay! Hey. That's looking really good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I want this to be an epic double wrap beefy cowl so like <laughs> we got a long way to go <laughs> but i don't care i want bright wild colors that don't match anything and i'm gonna wear it with stuff that also doesn't match and i'm going to just do my my mom's mom so proud <laughs> it'll be so cheerful it will be so bright and so lovely and you will see me a mile away and i i'm fine with that Okay. What? Meow. So in the realm of I have too many whips, uh, I am letting go of a couple of projects. So you guys aren't going to see them anymore. I'm going to rip them. I just If I decide I'm done with something and it's not a whip check-in, like it's not a state of the whip check-in, I just get rid of it. <laughs> I am not a keeper of things. It's not, it's not my go-to. But this weekend, I was shown a pattern, which pattern was shared, with the Patreon members uh, in the Discord. And it's called the Topple Sweater by Petra Breakstone. Yep. Is that right? She wrote it for lace or fingering weight yarn. And I have two cakes of lace weight yarn here. Ah. And it is designed as a very, I mean, she wants 13 stitches over four inches on fingering weight yarn. That's is a light. loose gauge yeah. so i can do that on lace weight yarn easy oh yeah. easy and it's meant to be a boxy drapey summery throw over a tank top kind of top and those are the tops i'm in very short supply of at this point i don't want it to be that boxy so i will obviously a do a gauge swatch to get gauge and then i will pick us and then i will do the math and pick a size that'll be fitter more more fitteder more that fitted -er? would, That would fit me better. Not that. fitted -er. No, Not fitted. That will fit me better. Let's use somewhat better English. No. And then I think I'm going to start with either the white or the gray. I'll probably roll a dice. And then I will knit it until I run out. And then I will fade to the second color and do the lace border. And then I will make it uh, elbow length. And I'll do the lacing as instructed and stuff, but I'll just make a nice long one and see how far I can get with two skeins of my lace weight, which uses up these lace weight. I don't even remember who the lace weight is by. I've had it for so long. Yeah, it doesn't it's look familiar to me, so I can't help you. It's a long time. So I want to do it. I just can't decide if I want to start with like the dark color on top and the white on the bottom, or if I want like the white on the top and like the smoky gray blue on the bottom. And it's not as easy as you think, because when I wear white, I spill less on myself. And I don't know how that works. I don't know either, but I believe you. You've known me long enough. Yeah, I know. If I am wearing white, I'm less likely to spill on myself than I am if I'm wearing any other color. It's not logical. It's just not... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who I sold... <laughs> anything to to have that work that way but that's how it works so i don't know i don't know i gotta decide but i want to cast that on today and i have been eyeballing letting go two whips anyway so i'm going to pull those two whips and get rid of them and i think it's going to be a two out one in situation ah. that's what i'm going to do and that way i'll feel a lot better about it a lot better so anybody can tell from the background of the boxes and the stuff that keeps moving around, I'm doing stuff in the background. You have to lie down there? Yeah, okay, fine. <sighs> All right, yes. I have three things left. You can go now. <laughs> I suppose I should do a thing. Uh, do we want new thing, old thing, or test knit? 
Testnet. Testnet. Okay. That works because it was in the thumbnail. <laughs> I've signed up to testnet a sweater. As you do. As you do. So I have pulled out four colors of my Fireweed Fiber Co. DK Tweed. Mm -hmm. And I've ordered the main body color, but it's not here yet. It should get here in a day or two. Wonderful. And the motif is octopus. So it's a color work sweater with um, octopuses all around and like on the shoulders and like, yeah. And then it's got this like a cable detail down the front. Oh my, that's going to be one heck of a sweater. It's going to be one heck of a sweater. I saw it on the call for test knitters. I'm like, me, please. <laughs> um, and all of the smaller sizes were already taken. So I'm like, I can knit it with like 10 inches of positive ease. So I'm making one of the bigger sizes. So this will be a lot of knitting. You're making a Jocelyn size sweater. Yeah. Um, but it's, On the bright I side, more... you're going to know how it's supposed to fit because you have some of my sweaters. Yes. <laughs> I, well, I was also measuring like my, um, the, the white sweater that has the dinosaurs on it. Yeah. I'm like, I like how that one fits. What's <laughs> that size? And it's, it's about that size. So. Yeah. So well, yeah, like but that. your white dinosaur sweater has a lot of positive ease. Yeah, and I wasn't sure how much positive ease, so I measured it, and it like, turns out it's 10 inches. Lovely. Well, that works. So that works out great. Ooh. It means I might relatively shorten the sleeves, <laughs> so I'm not drowning in sleeves, but we'll see when I get there. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. So mm -hmm. I've got... I don't remember... Do you remember what the light purple color from the Buffy Club was? No. I don't either. Nope. No. Uh, this one, I kept all the ball bands with the color names facing out so I could do this. Oh, this one is Scary Veiny Willow. This okay. is that was this October, going to be it? my... I don't remember what month. It doesn't have months on here, I don't think. No, it doesn't have months on mine. Um, but this is Scary Veiny Willow, so this is going to be the octopus color. Okay. This is going to be a little accent color. Yeah. The unnamed purple one? The unnamed purple one, yes. Is that the one where it's like bunnies are scary? That's fairly freaksome. My fairly freaksome was one. a green. Bunnies is more pink, pink. because I still have yeah. that one that I haven't yeah. wound yet. I just I don't know what one that this one was, is. It's the leftovers from when I did my mosaic cowl. Oh, you're from your uh, amazing cowl? Yeah. Uh, well, you should the... have it I, back you in would the show think notes. About... Uh, probably. Maybe. Right. Well, if you go back uh, and, and find the first time you mentioned the oh, amazing color, you'll say the name of the color. That's true. So, um, so this color is Bad Romance, and this one mm -hmm. is Scary Veiny Willows. So they're a little bit different. Um, they're not next to each other, so it's not going to matter that they're okay. not the same. I was just like, because oh, oh, there's okay. like a border around the octopus okay. is all one color, but then there's like a border that has all the rest of these other colors. So oh, I just need a tiny little bit of this for okay. an accent. I need less than a skein of all of these other colors. Okay. Um. So that's an octopus, but these ones are going to form a border around the octopus. I think it'll be really pretty. Yeah. So I swatched. Good. And I'm like, I'm. And blocked, and I'm just about bang on. So look at my like real size swatch. What? Everybody be so proud. Everybody say, "Ooh!" What? Everybody say, "Who ah, are you? What have you done I with know. Diana?" I know. Oh, I need a real swatch. Swatch. Look at that. So I I did that one out of this pink color that I also didn't say the name of. <laughs> <laughs> the pink one is I hope Evil takes Mastercard. So it's like a fuchsia red, pink, purple. Yeah. The it's cute one. Oh, I'm so excited for this sweater. So I'm excited. also so excited for the sweater. So uh, the instant the body yarn gets here, I'm going to wind up a few skeins and get started. Absolutely. Well, it's a test knit. You have a deadline, ma'am. I do. She's broken it up into milestones, too. So today was swatch done and supplies purchased. So I am bang on. Two weeks from now is uh, having the yoke finished. Uh-huh. Two, it was two or three weeks or like two and a half weeks or something. But she's got all the milestones. There's yoke finished. There's body finished. There's sleeves finished. And then she even leaves like a week and a half for washing and blocking, which lines up exactly perfect mm -hmm. for when Aaron of Fireweed Fiber Co., who's from, does all this gorgeous yarn, 
Yeah. She's going to be in town for Knit City Toronto. So I'm like, hey, do you want this as a sample for your booth? So I have like doubly a deadline. You just doubled. I was like, wow. I doubled doubled down down. on that deadline. I did. So this has to. I I didn't promise it was going to be washed and blocked in time to be a sample. Okay. (laughs) But I I might be sitting in the booth weaving in the end, but it's going to be a, it's this test and it's going to be a sample in Knit City Toronto. Oh my God. Okay. All right. (laughs) That's a heck of a goal to set yourself, ma'am. Yeah. So I have to double I have to double check about how much precisely I can show of the sweater in progress. Absolutely. Um but it's not it's definitely not absolute secrecy, but it's like how much can I show as I'm working on it? That's fair. Cause every designer's different. Some are like, oh, yeah. absolutely don't talk about it. That's not this one. Um I like the ones that share because then you get excited about patterns. Yeah, but it's like here's a little sneak peek of this part, and here's yeah. a sneak peek of that part. So I think I, like I think that. that's the level of this one. So I don't think I can hold up like the whole body all at once and be like, it's gonna be like this. No. But I can be like, here's this piece, and here's that piece. No, but you could show us the hat when you're done the body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I like that idea. Okay, good. Oh my god, woman, you've got so much knitting ahead of you. I know. So because uh, I know be what's in your background, I know what's in your background work list because I made your background work list. <laughs> I know, I know. So this is going to be like a high priority project for uh, the next uh, two months. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But oh guaranteed God. progress. So my turn. Let's do an FO because I don't want to talk about the drama. I'm going to leave the project that is misbehaving to last. Learn its freaking later. lesson. It's a two for one. <gasps> two for. It's a two for. I finished cushions for my kitchen chairs i didn't even know you were making cushions for your kitchen chairs neither did i till it occurred to me that my kitchen chairs are wooden and very hard and you suffer from numb butt syndrome pretty quick and a little bit of padding goes a long way to make kitchen chairs comfortable those look so good so i finished two this is all in a scrap acrylic yarn i just had floating around in a scrap bin I double layered it. I gave it a little bit of padding in the middle. We're a little stuffed. Put some stuffing in there. And then I just, I held it double on a 6.5 millimeter hook on one side to get a marled look. And then not on the other side to get a striped look and changed colors every couple of rows. Gave it some ties by making some long chains. Tie it all together. And now that we're done talking about it, I'm going to go tie them to the chairs. Those look great. And I continue the Cottage Core Granny Square takeover of my apartment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is such a great use for Granny Square. How did that that Ta-da! never occur to me? I, these were these were quick. Like so I did one a day. They were so quick um, around my other stuff. They just they can't like I seamed them together by just single crocheting the squares together all the way around. And then because I like to wash everything. And then some. I didn't weave in the ends on my board around. I just tucked them in so I can pull it out and unattach the squares when I want to wash everything. So that I'm not waiting for three layers of fabric and stuff to, to dry. I can wash the batting lightly, basically with baking soda, uh, in a vacuum. But I can deep wash and scrub the cushions, covers. I do love having a clean space. And I have a cat. This is a constant hair issue between me and the cat. It's a problem. But Mm -hmm. I made two. So uh, the mysterious Mr. B confirmed that it is the right amount of padding to help prevent numb butt syndrome, which was the point. And they do, they match with all the other granny square stuff I have going on. Like I got granny square couch covers, like my gray and purple one that's now sits on the back of a chair. I've got the granny square cotton blanket that sits as a padding for my rocking chair. The next step is to make one of these for my rocking chair. But I want it to have a matching round stuffed pillow for the center of my back for when I don't want to rock, but I want to lean, just lean in my rocking chair. And you need that that little round pillow right in the middle. That'll be so comfy. Yeah, yeah. So like I, there's still more granny square to go in my life, but for the moment... Two cushions for my chairs. 
and they're finished. And I love getting finishes. Oh, oh, feels so good. Feels so good. Okay, there I go. So that's what I did. That's what I did. It also let me, because I had ball bands for those balls of yarn, I got to put four additional ball bands into the ball band container for the year. Nice. I emptied the uh, container I was planning to use for my ball band, so I just need to give it a quick wash, and then I have my oh, ball band container. Excellent. I'm going to have to upgrade. Okay. Add my uh, ball bands for the year. My small box, and I was like, this will be plenty big enough. It's not. Mm, mm -mm, not? It's not? Mm -mm. No, I'm going to need a bigger box. <laughs> okay. All right. Mostly because once I have too little that it's scrap yarn... I'm not keeping the ball bag with it. And all of my scrap projects don't count towards anything unless I'm using the full ball of something. Right. So that's fine. But uh yeah, I uh that that project alone scored me four ball bands. Nice. All right. There you go. That is a thing that I did on the weekend while you were gone in my pajamas, in my rocking chair, that I need to make a circle pillow for. <laughs> Uh, oh, shall yeah. I talk about uh, the thing that I brought with me that I worked on? Absolutely. Super exciting. It's that uh, crochet granny stripe blanket. I needed something super simple. Just absolutely okay. brainless. And it was that. I thought... <clears throat> hold it up while I talk so you can look at the pretty thing um I thought I would have more time to work on it because a lot of the competition stuff was like watching other people mm -hmm. but everybody's so good and <laughs> I thought there'd be like more downtime between sets of like competitions and stuff but no mm -hmm. once they were going they were going I think the longest wait time to start a competition was my own and I couldn't be crocheting because I was in line to go on stage. So there, there was no crochet. So what I'm hearing is for the next competition, you need to have a fingering weight, plain body sweater on the needles. So you can just watch sweater and or knit. Socks. Yeah. 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 Vanilla sweater, vanilla socks. Oh, socks. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. So, cause yeah. The other thing, despite having, a total of between 10 and 12 hours in a car where I was not driving, I made the sad discovery that if I have to look down at my lap, I get car sick. It was very you depressing. Definitely need to get you some plain travel projects because I'm yeah. always car sick. And it, the trick is to not look when you're knitting. Not look down, yeah. So you need something so you can, can do just that with knitting. Do. I just, I didn't have any plain it's vanilla knitting. Much harder with crochet until you get the hang of it. So I Not almost sure. managed to learn, but not quick enough that I really got a lot done. But I got yeah. some done. I got a few Good. rows done. Well, I'm glad you're still making progress on your blanket. That's the important part. God, that blue purple advent from Erin. It's just so Isn't dang it pretty. So pretty. It gradiates so well. Fades well. What's the word I want here? I don't know. It stripes pretty. It it's, morphs some of them most fades. excellently. Yeah. I they I love it. So good. So good. Um, yeah, so that's yarn from Fireweed Fiber Co. The oh. advent calendar from a couple of years ago that I don't think is available anymore, but it's very pretty. And whatever advent calendar she's doing this year, you should absolutely buy it because it's guaranteed to be gorgeous. Oh, it's I love I have two of her advent advent things and I'm absolutely getting one for this year because they're freaking gorgeous. Both of the ones I have are gorgeous. Uh you guys can save money with Aaron of Fireweed Fiber Co. We have a coupon code. We do indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Northern Knits 10. And Diana, conveniently, kindly, oh, so she knows people like me very much, uh, <laughs> puts the info <laughs> in the description box below uh, and in our show notes, uh, which you can find on northernknitspodcast.com, mostly because yep. she knows me. She, she, she knows me. If, it, mm -hmm. if it's not a link, I won't go. I could not tell you. We have links and we have codes. Could not uh, tell you why. Also, I'm doing this with my ergonomic hook from Two Piece Hooking with the, my little oh, Pac-Man ghost. Such nice hooks. They are. So that's also linked in the show notes so because relaxing. it's an Etsy shop and Etsy's search function is terrible. Oh, Etsy's search function is awful. Like, I genuinely cannot Google this. I found it 
no. once i had to go digging yeah, through no. social media to find the link and now i just put it in our show notes every time i mention I go, it because i can't find it otherwise i go to the show notes or i go via instagram i find them on instagram and then i go follow their links <laughs> yeah to get, there's no etsy's search algorithm is awful <laughs> It's so, so the link is in the show notes if you want cute ergonomic hooks. They're very comfortable to hold. I wish they I could are. leave mine out, but Phaedra loves to chew on them. Yeah. How do I know she hasn't lost the passion for the hooks? Which hooks I was using this weekend. Oh dear. They're back up where they belong. I'm not bringing them down because I'll forget to put them back up and then all of a and sudden I hear a, chew toy. a flop. Flop, 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 as they're whacked around on the floor. Tis ungood. All right, you ready for the big finish? I'm ready for the big finish. You ready Let's for the it. behemoth? Oh my Let's god, do this weighs a freaking ton. I made a cat bed, but I didn't just make a cat bed. I made a cat bed for a 20 pound cat that likes to sleep in front of radiators and fireplaces. This thing is huge. Um, I held worsted double on a nine millimeter hook and I did 14 rounds of granny square nice <laughs> to be big enough we're big we're enormous. stuffed we're stuffed to two sides this is where my other four ball bands came from from the weekend that's right i got eight done this week whoa <laughs> just in the weekend just in the weekend so okay. proud of myself so proud of myself i was on task this weekend now i stuffed this the same way i stuffed the couch cushion couch cushions oh my word the kitchen chair cushions i just did a single crochet round around the outside to sew the two together essentially i did not weave in the ends i just tied it with a really well i tied it a knot but i tucked away a long string because the padding is an old bed quilt so ah. this is, smells like her human one of the downsides to commercial quilts is that they don't leave enough seam allowance when they're making commercial quilts. So the tops will disintegrate after a while. So I had been using this quilt to practice my obvious mending with and stuff, but the top is no longer salvageable. So I folded it up so that the top is on the inside and the underside, which is still in excellent freaking condition, <laughs> was outside on the top end, and I literally crocheted a granny square big enough to shove it into. That works. So this can live in front of the fireplace in the spring and summer. This can live in front of the space heater in the winter when she wants the winter sun. And as it has been pointed out to me before, and as I pointed out to the internet before, my cat is six. So we will at some point become a senior citizen and then getting up onto the bed is going to be hard for her. So this just gives her a pillow to get used to having on the floor that has her own bed in advance of the day when she's not going to be comfortable getting up onto my bed. Mm. So that's kind of what I did. But like, guys, this is massive. Like, it's my whole torso. <laughs> has she tried it out yet? Uh, Yeah, we were sleeping on it this morning. Perfect. It's also heavy because it's a quilt folded. Oh, jeez. <gasps> she's like, why are you holding up my bed, mom? Pretty much, probably be very confused but i got that done so i got through and i mean technically not the full eight balls there was absolutely scraps added to the new scrap bag so i'm allowed to as i go through and work through all of my scraps wind up whatever random leftovers into bigger balls i have and then they go into my candy corn bag mm -hmm. but i'm allowed no more than what fits in the candy corn bag and i'm down a bin and a half and I'm only, I've only filled a third of a candy corn bag. That's good. So I'm absolutely downsizing that stash quota, which is what I absolutely wanted to do. So, but I, uh, yeah, I need to, it's good that I got some stuff done because, oh man, was yesterday not a day to get stuff done. Oh, Lord almighty. Oh. I need to de-stash this year. Last year was the great deprojecting, and this, this year, year is, is going to be the... stashing. Oh, the great de-stashing. It felt so good to let go of yarns I'm not going to use. Now I'm getting through my scrap stuff. It feels so nice. But it's freeing up space. Ugh. My crafting room looks better. It feels so nice. 
Now, if only I could make more progress on my sewing projects. <gasps> That's a problem. <laughs> I have lost headphones. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, your turn. I have one thing left. It is my turn. Okay. So, uh, people voted on what yarn I should use for a new pair of socks. Mm -hmm. And then I wound the yarn for the new pair of socks. Mm -hmm. And I have now started the new pair of socks. Oh, lovely. Um, unfortunately, I had not started this before I got in the car on Friday. So, I literally started them today. Which is why they did not get worked on this weekend, and I have regrets because they would have been the perfect project to just leave on the table all day to work on for a few minutes at a time. Uh-huh. Next uh -huh. time. Next time I'll be better prepared. Next okay. time I won't just wind the yarn. Ooh. I will get the toe going. I will get at least ten rows in. It was your first competition. You're bound to it was learn my first. Things. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. a lot. Excellent. By the way, if people are wondering, how'd you do in the competition? She did fine, um, I didn't. <laughs> I did, did fine. I didn't get through to finals, which wasn't really expecting to because it's my first ever time. Um, but there were three judges that give you a rating between absolute yes, absolutely no, and meh, could be okay um, in terms of going through to finals. So um, of the three judges, I got two meh and one zero, which is not all zeros. And I'm really proud of that. Nate, you did very well. You did great for your first time out. So I did fine. Yeah. I have not watched the video yet, but uh, I figure yeah. I'll put that up for Patreon members. Yeah. So Patreon members can watch my all six dances. Oh I was only God. judged for three of them, but there were so many more follows than leaders. Uh, yeah. Um, that I had to dance twice so that all of the followers had a leader. Yep. So I had to do it twice. I felt so bad for my last follower because I was so tired. <laughs> Because it's just perform now for six straight songs. Like, uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. I don't normally dance six in a row. I'll do like three or four, but six was a lot. Oh, well, As a performance you know that... in front of a crowd. Now you know you need to work up to six so you can do it next time. Yeah. 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 Well, that'll be good. Anyway, uh, the socks that I have now just started were the coffee in that. There's coffee in that nebula. That nebula. Firewood Fiber Co. from the Star Trek Club a couple years ago. Ugh, it is glorious pink and purple and yellow and white. Such it is nebula with a bit, well, it's, it's nebula colors. But it is, in beautiful. fact, the colors of the nebula from the episode yeah. where Janeway gets excited because there may be coffee in that nebula. Hence the name. This is so fun. Like this, I don't, I don't know that the camera is properly capturing no, the depths no, of the color here. No, it's just, but that's okay. it's really fun. That's okay. Anyway. It's such, it's so cheerful and warm. Mm, got this Does nice that make sense? Brown to tone down the. It's cheerful and warm. It is. Yeah. Ah, I really like the Star Trek Club colorways. They were really good. All right. Ooh, um, nom nom. I suppose I should talk about my problem, child. Yes. Gross. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk about the problem, child. Problem, child. Okay. It's it not like the yarn. Problem. That is not the yarn. The yarn is not the problem. The oh, okay. problem is, is that this is my second freaking pickup for the shawl collar for this stupid Graham's cardigan. Oh, it's not supposed to be the hardest part of the sweater. It is. Uh, no, it, it's a shawl collar. It's not that freaking hard. The pickup is easy, guys. I I might struggle to do two by two ribbing, but I always nail the pickup the first time. It's a trade-off. I understand that it's a trade-off. I am comfortable that it's a trade-off. But for whatever reason, I cannot get the ribbing to work correctly in the shawl collar. So I messed it up, ripped it out, repicked up the stitches, got mad because it was 8 o'clock at night, put it down, and walked away. I should have been able to pick these stitches up after dinner and just whip through this shawl collar. It's a shawl collar for a 6 to 12 month sized baby sweater. It's not even that, it's not even that many stitches. And if it wasn't so flippant integral to the stupid sweater, which I would really like to just be done with, why do I volunteer to knit baby things? I don't actually enjoy doing it. I could sew up the little loose stitch and one armpit that I've got safety pin, safety pin, uh, stitch marker closed because I want to sew it in at the same, like sew it up the same time I sew up the weave in the ends and stuff. Mm -hmm. I could weave in the ends and I could give this 
true dad on Saturday at D and D. So I am really going to try to keep working on this and get this done so that it is out of my freaking life and out of my flipping house. I'm just done with it. Stupid kids clothing. <sighs> That's what I say. Next time I have friends who have children, remind me, I don't actually enjoy it in kids' clothing and to just say no. Do a teensy Here's... hat. Here's a... Okay. I would probably rather do a stuffed animal. At least I enjoy putting those together. <laughs> so here we go. I'm not putting buttons on this, mostly because that just seems silly. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Like, I remember little people um sometimes just having something you can throw on and go it's just really what you want and you really don't want to mess with the buttons you just you just don't so i'm not putting buttons on this band so it'll be a non-button button band a classic jocelyn with a shawl collar and it's not even they're short rows they're not even hard short rows i could wrap and turn i could do a german twist like i could there's i got a german short like i got options right mm -hmm. so little knitting why why two hours couldn't figure it out yesterday don't even get me started bright side is if i ever decide to make an adult version of the sweater uh, i will know how much of a pain in the butt the shawl collar is before i get to it it is so cute though so with luck Oh my god, I hope. You people never see this thing again. It is finished, it is seamed, the pockets are sewn on, everything's been woven in, it's gone to said child, and I have taken photos. Doing that this week, and um, crocheting two epic divided dice bags for uh, the little one's older sisters, who I play D&D with. Uh, they're teenagers, so they've joined our group. Uh, is my goal for this week. This is my primary work knitting. I want this done. And I've said that before, and it sat there for weeks. So, you know, mm -hmm. don't judge me. <clears throat> I really would like it done. I really like the kid to wear it for a little bit. But I also know little babies, they wear knits and stuff a lot longer into the season than other people do because their body temperature is you know, not the most regulated of things yet. They're still working on it. Oh, they're tiny. They just don't have a lot of they mass really don't. to contain the heat. They really don't. So I know the sweater will come in handy for a good long while yet. Because then even like mm -hmm. even in the summer, you go into buildings, <laughs> you need to put the little ones in something. It's cold for the adults. Never mind the wee people. Yeah. So like I know there'll be uses for it. That's fine. Ah. <sighs> but I want I want it done. I want to. I pulled the colors of yarn for the girls for their dice bags the colors that they like so i did that set that aside this week with the hook so like i should be able to do that this week i hope i want to start the dice bags i'm not allowed to start the dice bags till i finish that stupid shell called made me grumpy i'm gonna eat a date okay i'm done oh i think you should get today off because oh boy my bones feel tired for you Let's do a Patreon ad and we'll skip the word. Thank you. You're welcome. Silly lady, 12 hour dancing days. Something like that. I didn't do the math, but I definitely only slept about six hours all weekend. You know better. I do know better. I'll be extra nice. I'm not even going to make you talk about the changes to the Patreon tiers. That's good because I uh, don't remember notes. I don't remember. <laughs> My head's full of dance right now. I just, <laughs> was there ever anything else? I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough. No, with that, you're up, my dear. Oh, am I? Okay, Patreon is a thing. It if you is. want to financially support us, um, you can do so at patreon.com slash northernitspodcast. Any level of support gets you access to our patron-only Discord server where we talk about all manner of things um, like words. Like words? <laughs> I did that to somebody this weekend. We were on the way home and our driver's like, okay, somebody needs to be talking. Diana, you do a podcast. Say something. And I just stared blankly at her and I'm like, words? Words, 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 words. 
is all I had. <laughs> that would have uh, been a heck of a phone call for me to get. Diana, why are you calling me? I need words. Okay. Need words. <laughs> Put me on speaker. What are we talking about? <laughs> we found some words eventually, but oh, it was a struggle. It was a struggle? It was. Mm. Guys, we have some changes to tweaks coming to the Patreon tiers. Keep an eye out for that. And as always, we super understand budgets. They are a real life thing. If you can't financially support liking, subscribing, and sharing us and commenting here, as well as on other social media platforms, is a great way to interact and show us what you're working on. We're going to rush through the admin pretty quick because I'm pretty sure I'd like a break from screens at this point in the day. I need a nap. That is also 12 hours and I need a nap also a true statement so i'm gonna go real quick the schedule for april is posted and up on patreon it is public facing so you guys can see it even if you just follow us you don't have to you don't have to pay us money i give you the monthly schedule for free every month because then that way you know where to find us as usual unless diana looks at me in a panic because she didn't tell me her april schedule whip sprints for the last saturday of the month the patreon so. email in is the second last saturday of the month Okay. Sounds good. No panicking has occurred. This is good. This is good. Bonus I don't know content. What day it is now. Oh boy, it's the first when we record today. It's April Fools today. Hey. Okay, that's where we're at. Bonus yeah, content sorry. comes out sporadically, just as we have to fit it around our work schedules. As <laughs> you can find bonus content for gaming, uh, Stardew Valley, uh, which had a wonderful update. Uh, which we discovered last time we played it on the YouTube membership page. So we've got a couple of cows on the go. We have the spring equinox cow underway. You have until the summer solstice to start and finish a spring project for yourself, whatever it means to you for it to be spring. In Diana's case, I've already forgotten what it was that she was going to work on. That's unfortunate because I, oh, it's the socks that I didn't work on this week. The color work socks. The color work socks. Color right. Work socks. The rose socks because yes. they're blooming roses. Yes. I have swatched a bunch of lace samples uh, in DK Weight Yarn because I got mad at a pattern. So I'm going to make my own cute cropped DK Weight uh, fitted cardigan. And F you if you think I'm too large to have one. I don't think so. So I'm doing that. But for the moment, it's sitting. They're washed, they're blocked, and they're like lined up. And now I have to stare at them for like a week or two. To feel which one I'm vibing with the best. Because they're all pretty. So at one point, I will walk past and it'll have been percolating in the back of my brain long enough. And I'll be like, you, you're the one I want. But I haven't, I haven't reached that stage yet. So they look great. Leaning against a wall on blocking mats. I have a classy setup, guys. Classy <laughs> setup. The other uh, never-ending cal, because we didn't set an end date, is the Little Long, <laughs> which case we invite everyone still, if you wish to join in with us, to uh, knit a cardigan or a pullover that you think a librarian would wear, or is book-themed colored yarn, or is a bookish-themed pattern. You get the idea. Diane and I went very easy to reach a goal on this one. We're knitting the Librarian by Skandir Knits. <laughs> Uh, we basically wanted an excuse to cast the pattern on us, what it was. Uh, I'm way yep. down in the ribbing. Diana's made it up part of the body. Yep. And I am I'm gonna, this week. I'm gonna I am gonna order in the holder in of all the things, and I'm gonna make the librarian cropped. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. We'll see how we go. So we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, that's it. That's all we've got on the go. Diana's got a test net. We always have background work. That's how life runs. And I'm going to say, as a reminder, the live is going to be on Tuesday. So next yeah. Tuesday, you will find us live here at noon Manitoba time because, you know, Diana has to go see a thing. It's the solar eclipse. And if I go just an hour south, it's a total solar eclipse, which is the only time I'm going to see this in my life. So there's a total solar eclipse on Monday at like two in the afternoon we're gonna be live on tuesday <laughs> yeah we're gonna be live on tuesday. so i will say uh until next week i'm jocelyn and i'm diana and no matter where your week takes you don't forget, don't to, forget knit. to knit dude you or need sleep. a nap yes sleep it's important sleep so sleep so sleep so sleep much sleep so much okay